What is up guys, Vinge here bringing you yet another awesome video today and this video is a huge update because I'm going to explain how the schedule is going to look for the remainder of the year and I am so excited because there's going to be quite a few changes and um, it's going to be a bit different. It's going to be a bit more refreshing and I hope you guys look forward to the fall schedule just like I am right now. So first I'm going to break down the time frames of the stream among what I stream on. So if you look at the schedule, it breaks that down as well, where all the streams take place at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will leave a time zone calculator in the description section for you if you need to calculate when I stream on your time zone because some of your time zones are different than mine. So that, that could help you out. So I stream on two platforms, YouTube and Twitch. On YouTube, I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And then on Twitch, I stream on Thursday, Sunday, and Monday. Now this schedule is going to be a two week cycle, which means I will start with Mario Maker week, then the following week will be Nintendo Variety week, and then the next week after that we're going back to Mario week, then back to Nintendo Variety week and it starts back over again. That's what I mean by the two week cycle. Um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section as well. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and break this down? Oh wait before I break this down one more thing this schedule will not officially begin until the week after this week because I need time to make thumbnails and stuff like that. So let's begin breaking it all down. So let's start with Mario week. Mario week is very similar to what I have done on a daily basis for the past year as well as the majority of this year but there's a few minor changes here and there so let's look at them so monday is a bonus day on twitch now let me enlighten you about this if you look at the schedule on each day it's a little different some days have the twitch symbol on it so if you look at the day and you see that twitch logo on it then that means that that is a twitch day and any other day that does not have the twitch logo on it that is a youtube day so monday is a bonus day and let me break down what bonus days are this is known as bonus content because technically sunday and monday are days that i don't stream because I need a break but if I'm able to stream or if I'm up for it or I just want to stream I will stream on Twitch on Sunday and Monday because those are the only bonus days okay so on Monday I'm going to be streaming Super Mario Maker on Twitch so let's move over to Tuesday is going to be Super Mario Maker on YouTube. Let's move over to Wednesday. For Wednesday is going to be Super Mario Odyssey Day and what I will be doing is it's going to the first half of the stream is going to be Power Moon Hunting and then the second half of the stream is going to be Balloon World and that's all going to take place Wednesday on YouTube. So let's move over to Thursday which is a Twitch day and it's just as it sounds, a random Mario day, which is where I would take a random Mario game and play it for you guys on Twitch Thursday. So let's mosey on over to Friday schedule and Friday is no different. It's once again, super, I mean not super, but I always say super before Mario. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart 8 Wii U. Now to break this down even further, I'm going to tell you how the stream starts off. First half of the stream is going to be Super Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and then the second half of the stream if we get enough people for the Wii U version of Mario Kart 8, then we would 
the rest, the remainder of the stream would be a Mario Kart 8 Wii U stream. Um, so let's move on over to Saturday, which is also a YouTube day, which is going to be, which is titled Mario Luigi Let's Plays. It's kind of self-explanatory, but I'm going to break it down a little bit more. So what that means is it would just be a Mario or Luigi game of interest that I would be playing live on stream. So to give you a quick example, if you looked at the what I was playing um, every Saturday during the summer, it was actually Super Mario 64. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's still going to be the game of interest for right now, for Saturdays, which would be Super Mario 64, until I finish that game, and then I would proceed to another Mario or Luigi game, like, for example, like, if I was to get Super Mario Sunshine or Luigi's Mansion, I would play that on Saturday. So let's look at Sunday, which is a Twitch day, and it's a bonus day as well. And it's going to be slightly different than what it used to be. And what I mean by that is, um, over the summer I was doing Twitter and Discord votes, but I'm only going to make it a Discord vote day just to, you know, create more of an incentive for the people that went the extra mile to, uh, join the Discord because that's where a lot of useful information is given out daily. So... I'm going to strictly make that a Discord vote day instead of both Discord and Twitter. So I highly advise you guys join our Discord, which is another social media application. Um, the link to my Discord will be in the description section if you wish to join. Um, and I look forward to seeing you there. Um, so why don't we go ahead and look at the next week. This week is known as Mario Week. Now the following week is going to be what is called Variety Week. I didn't put Nintendo in there, but technically it's just a Ninten uh, Nintendo Variety Week. Uh, because a lot of people have been asking, do I play this? Do I play Zelda? Do I play Earthbound? Do I play Pokemon? Do I play Splatoon or Smash? And so... I decided to create, come up with a schedule where I could try to um, meet those needs, those games of interest that people was asking me about. And so we're going to start out with on for Monday, which is a bonus day, is going on Twitch, which is going to be Earthbound. That's what I will be playing on that day. So if we move over to Tuesday, we still have Super Mario Maker. And the main reason why we still have Super Mario Maker is because of the simple fact that that's what I started with. And is a very popular stream among my community. So there's no way I can leave Super Mario Maker out on YouTube. So we got another YouTube Super Mario Maker day on Tuesday. But then Wednesday, is going to be Zelda, Zelda Day. Um, now the game of interest, like the game that a lot of people was excited for me to play when it comes to Zelda, um, has been Twilight Princess. So I'm going to be continuing Zelda Twilight Princess every Wednesday. And then once I'm finished with that, we'll move on to another Zelda game for Zelda Day. So let's look at Thursday. Um, on Twitch Thursday though, this is a big one because I haven't done Super Smash Bros. in a long time and the last time I played Super Smash Bros. I had a lot of fun on Twitch with you guys. So on Thursdays is going during, <clears throat> during Variety Week, we're going to have Super Smash Bros. for you guys on the Wii U. And then... Let's mosey on over to Friday because this is a big one that I do have to explain in a little bit more detail. And for Friday during Variety Week, we have what is called Community Game Vote Day. Now, what I'm going to do, the first 
day of Nintendo Variety Week, which is Monday, I'm actually going to put a poll. I'm going to put a poll on specific um, community games that I don't stream as much and give you guys the opportunity to vote on what game will be the game to play for Friday. Now the poll is going to be on a specific day so that everyone knows when the voting would take place and everyone will have a fair shot at being able to vote. So on Monday of Variety Week, I'm going to post a poll on Twitter and a poll on Discord. And it's, those polls are going to stay active all the way up to the day of community game vote day. And so before I stream on Friday, I'm going to tally up all the votes from Twitter and Discord. And then we're going to play the game that won the, you know, won in the polls. So I would like tallying them all up and that'll be the game. To give you a few ex quick examples of those community games would be Nintendo games like Super Smash Bros, uh, Splatoon 2, and maybe even, wait, n and maybe even uh, Mario Kart, despite the fact that we do Mario Kart during Mario week. I may throw that in there sometimes as well, but I want to try to focus more on the community games that um, you guys don't get to play with me much on YouTube so um, that pretty much breaks down how the community game vote day is going to take place so mo more than likely it'll be a lot of um, contests between Splatoon 2 Smash Bros, Mario Tennis Aces, and any other games that come to mind. I may also put Kahoot and in there as well as maybe like Jackbox when I um actually purchase Jackbox. So it's gonna be very it's gonna be very interesting, very fun. Everyone would get a better chance to apply, you know, apply their vote to the polls. It'll be cool. So let's go ahead and move on over to Saturday, which I find to be a very unique day as well, which is known as Retro Day. A uh, reason why I call it Retro Day is I'm going to focus uh, primarily on classic games. Um, why do you see Ash and Pikachu on there? Well, I'm thinking that I'm going to focus a little bit more on Pokemon during Retro Day. However, there will be times that I will pick other retro games as well, such as, I don't know, maybe Mario 64, Ocarina of Time, Donkey Kong 64, banjo Coot, Zooey. Um, you will see that during Retro Day as I expand my collection. Uh, my So let's go ahead and move over to Sunday. Well, Sunday is no different than Super, um, no different than Mario Week. Main reason why I do that is like on Twitch, I'm a little less strict and I try to give, provide as much variety as possible for the people that uh, go the extra mile to join me on the Twitch streams as well. So it's a little bonus incentive um, over on Twitch because we get a lot of extra bonus days because of the fact that the jar gets filled up so often during the Twitch streams. It's a lot of fun and I hope to see you guys over on the Twitch side of things as well. Um, so with that said, that pretty much breaks down the entire lineup for this fall. If there's ever any changes that I'm going to make, I will be sure to inform you all of those changes. And so that practically wraps up what I need to say, but I will say one more thing to you guys, and that is make sure to follow me on my various forms of social media, Twitter, Discord, and Twitch. 
um so that you stay in the loop because when it comes to youtube's notifications the notifications is just not that great sometimes there have been people complaining to me about how they would get the notifications super late and by joining me on those other forms of social media you will get all the information as well as all the notifications you need on a more timely basis and so thank you guys so much for watching this video i look forward to seeing you soon and thank you so much for your tremendous support and like i always say make sure to take things one jump at a time and have an awesome day guys and god bless Thank you.